so you don't have authority to record on site. Could you please leave? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're looking at the Toyota. Massive, massive site. And uh, this is the main Goods Inwards gate. On Google, this is where they make the Toyota vehicles. So yeah, it's quite a, quite a big place on the map, this one. So, there's a lot of signage saying Toyota this way. It's even got its own road. And it's <laughs> humongous car park. The sun's in the wrong, uh, wrong angle on this one, to be honest. Please ring security on 01332 282 243. Just in case I need it later on. Got a, a building over there that says Academy. Are they making cars here at the minute, mate? Yes, mate, yeah. What model? Roller. Toyota Roller. Sorry, Toyota Roller. Quite I'm, I'm a photographer. R O. Don't throw me then, mate. I'm not. Look. No, I'm, I'm pointing over there. Man. I'm pointing over there, man. <laughs> Toyota Roller, yeah. Oh, Corolla. <laughs> Silly me. He meant the Toyota Corolla. It's funny, isn't it, how they, um, they class the, the Toyota Corolla as roller. <laughs> so yeah, the website says uh, Toyota has begun production of its all-new Corolla hatchback and estate range in the firm's UK manufacturing facility in Derbyshire. That's where we are now. An official ceremony attended by global Toyota figures marked the first models rolling out of the Bernaston plant. Hello. Hello, mate. So you recording me? I'm recording everything today. I'm making a video about Toyota. Okay. Do you have permission to record about Toyota? No, no. Okay, do you have, have you asked my permission to record me? Don't need it. You don't need it? No. My personal heart. But, no record, recording device allowed on Toyota. I'm not on Toyota. Hmm? I'm not on Toyota. So what are we doing today? making a video about Toyota. I'm not coming on the restricted areas that you've got. Yeah. I'm staying out in public. You don't have authority to record on site. Could you please leave? Who said that? My supervisor and my manager. Can you, if you could please leave site? What's his name? If you could please leave site. What's his name? Because I'm I, not prepared to answer any of your questions. If you can please leave site. I don't agree with what the person saying. I don't saying. agree with your recording. I don't agree with you recording me. I think it's against my right. You're not wearing a face mask. I'm not nearer than site? two meters. Can you please leave site, sir? No. You're refusing to leave site. I'm refusing to leave site because you will not tell me who said it. Strange bloke thinks we need permission to film him. So yeah, I'm not too sure about this road, to be honest, whether it's um, a private road or not. There's no signs that you would normally see. And uh, a lot of the signage that is present is all Toyota signs. And even the traffic lights look a little bit different, to be honest. It's like they've got their own, uh, their own traffic system set up here. And this road uh, is only to be used when accessing the Toyota site and the nursery, which is where I've put my car for a minute. 
Uh, let's have a look what's up this bank. That's good to see, look. They've got loads of um, little plaques where people have planted trees. Oh, it's actually to say how many years of service they've had. Five years service, five years service. But actually it gives all the names, the full names of people that work here. <laughs> Data protection just in the tree tags. So my conclusion about this being private property and whether he's got enough clout to say, please leave, is the fact that this Bright Horizons Day Nursery entrance is just here. So you have to use the private road, the Toyota road, to access up to this point. Now here's, here's the security guard or security staff for Toyota. So he will control what's going past them bollards there, as he is doing. He does not need to worry about this area here because whoever wants to visit Bright Horizons Day Nursery can do so. And that's entirely up to them. So I will now stand on Bright Horizons Day Nursery Road and ignore this guy. I've told you before. No, I'd rather you didn't approach me. I'd rather be left alone. Yeah. And you just carry on with your business, which is securing the Toyota site. Well, while I'm out here, Minding my own business, I'm not interfering with you, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't interfere with me. Well, I'm going to need to tell you, you need to leave Sark, so. Yeah, you've already told me that. Distance, please, if you're not wearing a mask. You've already told me that. Yeah, he couldn't walk you towards me without a mask on. No, it's, it's about the leave sight part. Yeah. I won't be leaving sight until I'm ready. All right, so. I've just been informed, sir, that if you don't leave sight. Hello, everybody. This gentleman is breaking the law. He needs to leave sight. What law is that? I'm going to call, we're going to call in the police as we speak. Now what law have I broken? You want private property. So what's the law? What are you trying to prove, sir? I'm trying to prove that you're talking nonsense. And what are you trying to prove? No law is being broken so right now. I've just told you, I'm making a, a video about Toyota. You've been asked to leave, sir. If you could please call in leave. I reject your request That's to Toyota. leave. Call the police. There's no law being broken. Sir, it takes control. He's refusing to leave. <laughs> I've made that away, he's refusing to leave source. Okay, please contact him now. Thank you for putting on your mask. I'm only putting on my mask because I'm going to come close to you. I don't want you to come any closer, sir. I know you don't. I'm private details. Yep, got it. Matt. Hello, Matt. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. SIA registered, it's nice to see that you've got your badge on display. Yeah. I don't mind. I'm not breaking the law. You're breaking the law, not me. So yeah, that's fine, mate. 037-8240-2354-9025 expires May 2024. At least it's in date. And it's on display. Not many of them have it on display nowadays. Yeah. Anyway, what law have I broken by being here? Answering any of your questions, sir. Okay. I'm asking you, can you please leave? Would you like me to tell you? Oh, just stand there. I'm going to camera. Would you like me to tell you? Trespass is a civil matter. It's not a criminal offence to trespass. Oh, very clever, sir. And Thank you very much. That's what we call the walk of shame. I've just been asked to leave. Can be as as want. No, no, listen, do not, do not approach a photographer who's minding his own business. You concentrate on keeping Toyota secure and not hassling photographers. I mean, I had to a little, be a little bit stern with him there. He kept on going on about nonsense about we're phoning the police, criminal offence. Oh my God, they've even got their own uh, flashing blue light car. That is hilarious. Oh my God, they've even got their own... Uh, Flashing blue light car, that is hilarious. Hello, mate. How are you? Right. I'm very well, thank you. Nice to meet you. And you? Just to let you know you are being recorded as well. So, how can I help you today? No, I've not asked for any help of anyone. No? Can I ask what you're doing today? I'm making a. I'll go this way so the, the, um, the sun is helping my camera. Okay, so the sun's helping my camera. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I'm making a video about Toyota today. 
Okay. I'm not entering any of your restricted areas. Okay. I'm currently standing on Bright Horizons Access Road, which you have no jurisdiction over. Okay. So how, how can I help further with yourself? Yeah, can I just ask your name? No. Why not? What's your name? Ian. Ian, I Ian what? Well, I don't need to say your surname. Can I okay. just say my first name? Okay, you can call me DJ. How you doing, DJ? What are you recording on? Sorry? What are you recording on? What am I recording on? What are you recording on? What are you recording on? What's it going to be on? It's all social media platforms. Social media? Yeah. Brilliant. What social media? All of them. Which one? All of them. All of them? Yeah. So what, Facebook? Yeah, my channel is, uh, is on them all. What, are you yeah. doing on the Rude channel as well? Rude? Yeah. No, you don't get no rude social media where I... Is there no rude social media at all? Because I can sense a bit of, um, like you're trying to be funny, well, that's I not... I'm just my trying, I'm trying to get some more information for you. Also for yeah, you I can see that. No, Bright Horizons have not got many staff working today. I've already checked. Are you sure? Well, I'm going to stand over here on the path, mate. If you can stand yeah, on the yeah, road yeah, if you want, yeah. on a busy road, yeah. that's up to you, pal. If you want to stand on the middle of the road. Yeah, I know, I heard you. Okay. I've already checked with. I'm, I'm, I'm working out for you, I'm safety. I've already. Stand in the middle of the road, pal, that's fine. Um, Bright Thank Horizons you. have not got many staff working today. Have you noticed? No, I've not noticed. Not been very uh, observant. No. Anyway, I, I, um, I know exactly how many staff are working, but I don't need to tell you that. Yeah. Do you um, cover the Bright Horizons uh, security, or are you just Toyota security? No, we do cover up here as well. Yeah. So if we they've got, we have an emergency response. We have to respond up here. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if they've got some sort of fire, would you would you attend? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Have they got their own security? I'd imagine they've got their own security up there, but yeah. if they have any problems, they do give us a shout as well. Yeah, have they got an internal radio system linked to yourself? Don't know. So they're not connected then? No, I okay. don't know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, anyway, please don't waste your time anymore, Ian North. Um, okay, DJ. Someone. <laughs> are you being very helpful. Are you me? SIA registered? Yeah. Where's your badge? My badge is here. Needs to be on display, mate. There's no, no good in your pocket. Needs yeah, to be on I display. I need to record my personal details off my badge, please. There's no personal details on it. What, my personal number? Oh, that's not personal, that's uh, available. You have to provide that to the police upon request. Oh, right. okay, fair enough. But yeah, um, when a photographer is... I'm going to take the drone up in a minute as well, get some overhead shots, but it's um, you're currently manufacturing the Toyota Corolla from this plant, aren't you? I don't know, I don't know. Internally, people call it the roller, don't they? It's a slang term for Corolla. They just call it roller. On me. <laughs> I'm security pal. Yeah, yeah. So have you have we got any more business then or are you happy now? No idea. Okay. Right, I better get the drone up then. That's my next plan of action. Get the drone out. Get some nice overhead aerial shots. Right, if we police though, we're just gonna get them down here and have word with you. I thought you already have. Yeah. They might be on the way right now, don't they? Yeah, 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 yeah no problem mate, no problem. I might be delaying you. How's that? Delaying me? Delaying you, yeah, like you're delaying me. I'm in no rush. I've not called you over. I've just stayed out your way. I've not uh, interrupted with any of your activities today. Well, you have stood in the middle of the road. This is this is the nursery access bit. road, and I've just told you, you have, they're closed. You have, you have been a bit careful, haven't you? Walking yeah, yeah. Road, I've, I've said, left and right, the you've got a right you've got a pedestrian zebra crossing yeah. there, which I used to cross the road. I've already told you that I've checked in there, and they're not busy. Why there's, there's aggressive. Only... aggressive. <laughs> Oh my god, aggressive. I've already told you, that's exactly what you just said to me. I need to be aggressive, isn't it? I haven't tried to be aggressive. If you interpret, I've already told you, it's being aggressive, that's perfectly it unreasonable. What? It's being fucked up, isn't it? I'm trying to be friendly. Oh, would you like me to have a little pause before I reply? Control zero. Not helping me understand you, but okay. Yeah. So, do you know when the police attend. Do you know when police attend a matter of civil trespass? They'll literally tell you it's a civil matter. And it's down to you guys to deal with it. And you, you should instruct your legal team to start legal proceedings well, to get no, an eviction at notice. Day, at the end of the day, obviously you're on private property. No, it's not. Yes, it is. This is private property. Okay. Do you know, right, if anything happens to this road over here, or anything happens over here, you know who pays for it? Not the public service. Have you noticed how this not, road's slightly... Not, 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 not the council, not Derbyshire council. Council don't pay for this. I know, I know. So, you... Since when? Did, did, they, did the council pay for your driveway? I'm listening to you, then I'll reply, because no, I'm listening to yourself, and then I'll reply. Okay. Anything on here, this is private property. Yeah, I agree. Yeah? It's owned by Toyota. I agree. 
after the island, the pinnacle of the island, is owned by Toyota. I agree. So in theory, you're walking around on here. Yeah. Yes, it's open to the public. But if you're walking around in an unsafe manner, which we saw you walking up and down the road out there, and just blatantly walking around, because obviously we've got to look around and we've got to be curious as to who you are. Yeah, of course. We see a strange person walking around, looking at a crash. You know, kids it's closed. And everything. Two cars in there, mate. I've already had a word of them. No, but I've already day, had permission to park my vehicle up there. Yeah, permission. There you go. Well. Yeah. So it's one through the window. Who did you speak to? The lady. What it's lady? all on camera, mate. What lady? What was I don't name? ask for people's name that are in crashes. Only security staff that are asking photographers. I'm not asking you. You are, because just leave me alone then. Well, I can't, I can't leave you alone because okay. you're standing in the middle of the road. <laughs> right, guys, it says I'm standing in the middle of the road here. And when I was in the road, as you saw from my introduction, there's two cars in the car park. The lady said it's fine to park my car there. These guys are just going over the top and just hassling a photographer. So They've called minutes the. Ago, ten minutes ago, he was walking up and down. Yeah, and do you know why? Everybody was leaving. Do you know why? Good idea. Do you know why? Why were you doing that? Because I was looking for some road markings that would identify whether it's Toyota-owned land or council-owned land, and I didn't find any Good to support. I did. I didn't find anything that supports the argument that it's council land. So I agree with you. It's council. Uh, it's Toyota-owned land. Toyota. Toyota-owned land. Toyota. Okay. Toyota will pay for the upkeep, the resurfacing anything like that but do you know how this road mark do you know how this road surface has changed color dust here you're gonna let me finish because i i let you finish so do you see how this road surface has changed color dust here yeah. that's because the nursery access road here isn't in your jurisdiction if anything happens at, on this road they will pay for the upkeep of it nothing to do with toyota i'm stand currently standing on nursery grounds how do you know that by the way oh mate it's it's uh Anyway, right, well, I didn't even know that. things like this, with me looking on the road there for clues that would back up myself, I didn't find any. The only thing that I found is this area here, which clearly, in my opinion, I can stand here all day long. You secure yeah. your area. Yeah. I've had permission from the nursery. Okay, I don't disagree with you, the fact that you can stand here all day long. But the point is, so it's not, got, if you're on private property, can you imagine what happens to you if something it, happens to you on it's private not, property? This isn't your private property here. This is the nursery's. So you think it's the crashes? The crashes. The crashes access road. The access road only. Zero nine ticket drop. I think I'll ask that because I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just out of curiosity, is the crash owned by Toyota or is it private property of the Bright Horizons? Anything off the island is classed as private property. Yeah, so let me so explain. Leased. Yeah, so they're paying. So, 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 so quite a rise of lease that off yeah, Toyota. Yeah, and, and they have a say of who visits. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, so is it leased? If it's leased off the Toyota, then do they have jurisdiction of the uh, road leading up to the crash? Just ask him, say, right, if Bright Horizons invited a film crew to stand on their access road, could Toyota stop it? Yeah, I'm being asked if Bright Horizons asked for a film crew to stand on their access road, would Toyota allow it? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's the fair I've asked him for his details. He's been very polite and just said his name is DJ. He said stop engaging because the question, he didn't want to answer it. When they normally get a question like that, which leads them to, say, to support the argument of the photographer, they normally just walk away which is, is, is sort of indicated that you wish you did that. It's quite interesting you've got a blue light on your vehicle. Um, yeah. Is there any reason why you've got a blue light on your vehicle? Basically, Yeah. On uh, site. Yeah. Would that vehicle ever use the blue light on a public highway? No. Does the vehicle ever go on the public highway? No. So that's purely for use on site only? Yes. And do you know when you, have you ever used that vehicle with the blue light past the barrier this side? At the end of the day, how do you think I get around? 
But can I ask you, why are you asking me questions about security? We've got him thinking now, look. So from legislation.gov.uk, the Road Vehicles Lighting Regulations 1989, Regulation 16, it says that restrictions on fitting blue warning beacons, special warning lamps and similar devices. And it says no vehicle other than an emergency vehicle shall be fitted with a blue warning beacon or special warning lamp or a device which resembles a blue warning beacon or a special warning lamp, whether the same is in working order or not. So whether it's working or not, and we saw it working, no vehicle other than an emergency vehicle should be fitted with a blue flashing light. Now, the fact that he's on private property, he may be able to get away with it. But as soon as he comes on the, um, the public highway, in my opinion, this side of the barrier, then he cannot be using that. It cannot even be on display. So, yeah, there we go. Why are you acting because now? Because you're acting like a terrorist. You're yeah. Asking, and, and you're, you're re are you doing reconnaissance on the It's side? called hostile reconnaissance. Hostile reconnaissance. And right? the answer is no. The fact that Why you're... Why are you asking me these questions? I'm just about to answer you. Okay. So the fact that you've got a flashing blue light on your vehicle, to my knowledge, only the emergency services that are registered to have a blue light on their vehicle can do so. That's not an now, answer to my question. Yeah, I'm, I've not finished my sentence. I don't need to answer your question. Okay. The, the, my camera caught the footage of the blue lights being flashed as it approached this direction. Was you the driver of that white vehicle? Oh, did you see me getting out of it? I didn't actually know. Okay. Was you the driver of that vehicle? No? Okay. Are you enjoying yourself today? Yeah, yeah. I've not been here too long. I am... Cold. Sorry? Are you cold? No. You want a cup of tea? No, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to put in it. I don't really need any refreshments at the minute. Sorry? Yeah, just told you that. Okay. It looks a bit cold for you, moving around a bit. Do you know how um, when you first approach and you says, I am recording, what made you say that? Um, I have to let you know you're really recording. Yeah. Do you have to let me know you're on main recording? No, because you fall under GDPR regulations and you work for an organisation, so by you telling the subject, the data subject that you are recording, that is very good actually. Oh, thank you. But, but I'm just wondering... What about what... you though? Do, who, who, you're under news... No, no, no. Do you know when? Are you licensed? Do you know uh, a citizen? I'm answering your question. Do you know what a citizen journalist is? No, I don't. A citizen journalist is what I am. So you don't need no license. It's just a member of the public on their day off from work. They pick up a camera, and they go to an interesting place. And the the story that I was hoping to to cover today was the fact that you're um, building the Toyota Corolla from this plant at the minute, mm -hmm. and um, the future of electric vehicles, etc. But uh, as soon as I arrived, your colleague has really put a downer on the visit. And oh. it's a shame because the audience is big and Toyota would have liked good PR from this visit. And I, I don't think it's going to turn out that way. Sorry. It's unfortunate. People like to turn around a hell of a lot around here. Yeah, control zero nine. Can you return to the gate I saw out of the way? It's been good talking to you, mate. Yeah. Um, I've... What is your first name? Please let me know. DJ. Is it just DJ? Do you know why I said DJ? Well, well, right. Is it, on, is, it in, is it DJ because it's on the, the web? DJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, can I look at it? I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> do you know when you do find it, uh -huh. all will become clear. Oh. With, when I've said the word DJ, all will become clear. Are you famous? <laughs> oh yeah, seriously, I don't. You're, you're good at being famous. I'm going to be yeah, famous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But to be honest, you've not done much. You've not done much wrong. Your other guy's done more. But yeah, have a nice day, mate. You, you best go in. Do you want a drink? I'm fine. I've got a drink in my bag. Okay. All right, mate. So just, uh, you know, take it easy. Please be safe. I have. Don't stand in the middle of the road or anything. Even though there might only just be two cars up there. Please don't go... You know, they're all leaving out and everybody leaves yeah, out yeah. and you know, I, I don't, well, that's one thing I don't want to do is have a, did you, a, a medical. Did you notice when I walked back up here, I'm walking across these stones. Yes. When I walked across there, I stuck to the zebra footpath. That's the, uh, is it called a French drain? 
Oh, it's a swale. A swale? Yeah. Well, yeah you're more clued up than me. Yeah, we visit quite a lot of sites. So, with a swale then, obviously stones and everything, just be careful with your footing as well. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want you twisting the ankle. El Elf like and that. safety is something I, I do look at, yeah. to be honest. I do relate with what you're saying. Thank you. Uh, so, so we do just keep in the cap. We have got you on camera. I have recorded you yesterday. Yeah. Today. And the main thing is, my, I'm not my trying. Name is Ian. My name is Ian. Yeah. You also know everybody's yeah. surname is yeah. North. Ian North. Pleased to meet you. I, I'm not trying to get into okay. secure areas. That's the main thing that you guys should be concerned about. When I'm outside here, and I've clearly walked from this direction, maybe he didn't see where I was. He's not even asked. We, we've not even tried to ask me any reasonable questions. He just says, uh, okay. stop, stop recording was the first thing he said. But when you're in uh, a public area, where if, it's, if it's publicly accessible, yeah. there's a thing called Section 33 of the, night, of the yeah. Criminal Justice yeah. Act 1972. That's and, and if it's a public area, anybody can come on. You are within your rights to revoke access, but only when you've got full jurisdiction of the land. Gotcha. And unfortunately, with it being a shared access, uh, and me standing on the nursery, the nursery are paying you guys for the lease. They do have a say of what happens on this land. So yeah, anyway, I think um, if you go in now, that will speed up my departure. Oh, the police are on the way, aren't they? I, I think so. Yeah, I best wait for them, because I don't want them to look for me. Uh, if I disappear now, they're going to be looking for someone, which will be wasting their time, which I don't want to do. So I'll wait around. Yeah. If the police haven't been called, then if you just walk away now, then I'll just, I'll be on my way. Um, but if they have been called, I will wait. Thank you, DJ. It's been nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, be safe. Please be safe. And you are on camera, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, it is private property. It is. I have to come out and say hello, ask you who you are and what you're doing, etc. etc. Thank you for telling me who you are. You're citizens. Citizen journalist. Citizen journalist. Yeah, there's a lot of us on, doing, online. Um, was it a live? Are you it's not live, it's not live. It's like you're doing a recording for your. We, we visit interesting places. Sorry? Is it what they're called? The home pages? The social media social, channels. Oh, sorry, social media channels. Sorry. Yeah. Citizens. Citizen journalists. Citizen just a citizen. Journalist. Yeah, just like a reporter, but you don't need to be licensed. A citizen journalist. It's, a very, it, it's yeah. becoming very popular nowadays. Yeah. And you just find an interesting point to, to talk about that your audience will be interested in. You go to the site, you get a visual, mm -hmm. and you just speak about the interesting thing. And yeah. um, I was hoping to see some uh, vehicles on transporters or something like that but is this the entrance used for transporters <laughs> you're not really allowed to say are you don't worry thank you what what um I think they're, the... they're police yeah what force is it is it derbyshire i imagine so yeah, yeah. we already got obviously it's a 999 or i mean what force cover this area it's a DE postcode, isn't it? So it's Derbyshire. Yeah, it's in between now, but we've had all sorts. So we go and uh, tell them that they need to be down here and not up there. And you, mate. And you. Hello. Hiya. Hey, you right? Yeah. Hello. Ian's just said, "Nice to meet you" as he went by. Just oh, bless you. So we have left on good terms. Good. Good. Right. My, um, my identification is 12902 Marley and this is 12902 Gravel. We've been called here today because we've had some reports of a gentleman recording. Now, obviously, we're just popping to say hello. How's yeah, it going? Yeah, yeah, perfectly fine. Um, I've just arrived. I'm just doing a little story about Toyota, about how they're currently manufacturing the Toyota Corolla oh, yeah. and the future with potential electric versions. Yeah and the benefits and how good we, the batteries are going to be. We, we've got one of those at work actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah lovely. The, the fact that they're actually making cars in the UK, I was trying to highlight that for the viewers. Yeah, yeah. Um, the security came out and just says, I don't want to be filmed, you're not allowed to film. And just says, look, just leave me alone and I'll leave you alone. I'm not trying to enter your restricted areas. Yep. I'm standing on the nursery access road. Please just worry about your Toyota land. Yeah. And that's where we, we was with it. I parked up there. The lady says, um, what are you doing parking it? Is it okay if I park there for five minutes? She says, okay. So I've had permission. It, is it your black black Volvo? Yeah, yeah, it's my black Volvo. Just for the future, if you can park in a space, it's always better. Oh. Pre parking's at a premium up there. Oh, I didn't see the markings. Yeah, you, you're well out of space. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, we could look at dealing with that as a separate issue. That's a civil matter between me and the nurse. Well, Come we'll on. Do, well, it's, you know, if you're obviously blocking access for children who are getting picked up. 
but what we'll say is if you hear recording you know cars or whatever you want to do that's a matter for you to deal with with the owners of the land i'm staying out of the way and yeah. all that we ask is if you are recording obviously do it safely yeah so yeah avoid the roads uh, avoid you know obviously the main in and out yeah yeah, what do yeah. you think of the Corolla? They're a nice one. Well, I was hoping to see someone, the transporter. Yeah. And I was thought I'd, I'd set an hour or two aside. But uh, he's just told me I'm very unlikely to see some. So. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the issue with, with a lot of these uh, cars is they're nice to see when they're literally coming out of the, yeah. the depot. Um, yeah. And it's good footage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's unusual having a, a manufacturer in Derbyshire yeah. as well. Because yeah. A lot of it, and it's a big one as well. Mm, it's been here quite a long time as well. I can remember when this was farmland. Yeah, it, it, well, you see the signs. It's good how it's um, you know signposted. It, it they make a big thing about saying Toyota is here. You know, it's a big statement piece. It's bound to provoke a bit of interest. Yeah. So people are wondering what's going on here. And I have had a few requests. Could you please visit Toyota? So here I am today, and I don't think I'll yeah. get anything. I have got my drone in the bag. Um, might, well, we ask you. Yeah, we, obviously with the drone, you can probably see over there we're actually on a flight path here. Yeah, the uh, software won't allow me to yeah. fly if it's if it is a restricted area. But it's, if the software it, allows, yeah, then I. It's a flight path for a local, air, um, you know, aerodrome. But also beyond that, obviously we're getting quite close to East Midlands as well. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. The software, as I say, the software don't allow it if it's restricted. If there is a yeah, it's, it's quite yeah. clever. Yeah. It's good, really, really clever. So just to confirm we're speaking to the right person, we'll just bring that up on the, on yep. the details again. Obviously we think we know who you are, but we'll just... Yeah, yeah. My... Yep, yeah, nice. I, I don't withhold my information. Now, to be honest, it's lovely meeting you, and it's quite an interesting place to come and have a look at. It's a big site, as you're probably aware of, and um, all the guys are usually really friendly, so I can't see they would have a problem, but if they did have a problem, that would be up to them to liaise with yourself, yeah. because it's a civil matter. Yeah. It's probably difficult to define what's public and what's private here, I would imagine, anyway. To be Obviously, honest... Obviously, the nursery and the children in there, that's a separate matter, but yeah. from what you've said, you've yeah. only parked your car there. Yeah, and... and not and very well, but uh, you parked your car in there. I didn't see the... Um, I didn't see the markings. I'm just getting my memory card out because it's just about to end, but I didn't see the markings. So, do you know how you've just mentioned audits in Britain? Yeah. Um, did you hear about his recent visit to Derbyshire headquarters? We're not going to comment on other people's actions. Because, do you know, his visit to Derbyshire headquarters, it was because I got I visited there and I was assaulted by Inspector Adams. So that, if you have seen it, and I could tell by the body language that you have, no, I, I, what a small world, don't it? And you t you get called to another job. Yeah. To be honest, I don't really watch YouTube. Oh, right. Um, but... And, and I, I, particularly, I know it's really good for things. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, I wish you all of the very best with whatever yeah. you're doing. Do you know of Inspector Adams yourself? I've never met an Inspector Adams before. Right, okay, now. okay. Um, but obviously, you're here today at Toyota, yeah. which is quite a long distance away from our Ripley headquarters. Yeah, yeah. You're in South Derbyshire. Guys, you're on camera, so I'd move out of the way. Okay. Can we come and speak to you yeah. a little bit, please? I just need the car. Yeah, I'm, okay, in that case, you've asked me to remove my car. Thank I'll get it removed within one minute. Can we okay. just finish chatting with yeah. him and then he'll come back? He's not causing any problems. No, no I've got a lot of parents. I've explained yeah. that. Yeah, right. within one minute it'll be gone. Thank you. Agreed. To be yep. fair, I've explained. So, so just to clarify then, DJ audits, is that the same one that the hybrid stuff is going to go on? Yes. DJ audits, you'll see um, my incident at Derbyshire headquarters with Inspector Adams, right, yeah. where he approached me and assaulted me and whacked the camera out of my hand. I then spent a, a night in Ripley. Yeah. Um, I can't remember his name, but it, there was a sergeant there who was very good. I collected the property seven days later, okay. and now I've got a civil claim against Inspector Adams. So okay. that's ongoing. Okay. But well, yeah, that's where I am. So okay. obviously no we're not going to get involved in any of that, but no. I would say you're in South Derbyshire now. We're a very uh, positive area of Derbyshire. Um, there's lots to see here. We've got Cork Abbey, we've got Fullmark Reservoir, we've got lots of interesting places to get out and about. Yeah, and this is one of them for me. And this is probably yeah. one of them, yeah. yeah. I mean, to have Toyota within our patch is really good. Yeah, yeah. It's a really nice a uh, jobs, nice place, uh, lots going on. Obviously, I know you've got to move your car Yeah, now. let's do it. Yeah, um, is that cool? We're going to have a chat to these guys separately, not to do with you. Um, we wish you well. Yeah. I hope you get what you need. I, I'm going to um, make a conscious decision of doing the drone from a public area i'm not going to um because now i've been asked to leave by these yeah. taking off from a private area with the drone now would seem wrong in my eyes so i'm going to try and get an overhead shot 
but I'm going to take off from one of the side roads, which is public. What we'd say is, as we said, oh yeah, yeah, your, your memory thing in is obviously you need to make sure you're not on a flight path. Yeah. So obviously that would be a separate. But matter. you've said that you're drone. But you said you're yeah, drone yeah, does yeah. all of come. But yeah. obviously now you're recording. I have to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you know, good luck. How, how many videos do you post a month? Then is it quite? I make sure I post one video a day. A day. Every a day. day. Wow. Gosh. It keeps the algorithm up. Yeah. Do yeah. you? Are you? Um, uh, are you part of the National Union of Journalists? Or no, you... it's a, it's called a citizen journalist. Have so, you, have the NUJ never thought about recruiting you guys to join the NUJ? Or uh, I, I've not looked into the NUJ. It's not something I'm interested in because I've actually got a full-time a... job. Oh, right, okay. So, but it I... does give you a lot of protection around um, public liability and all sorts of things like that if you join a nationally recognised organisation. Yeah, such as that. That, that's if you want to enter some some um, special events and actually get deep inside the nits and nits and gritty but or I just stick to public areas and just see whatever's publicly accessible under that section 33 of the criminal justice 1972 we can get into any area if you go onto private land by mistake they can ask you to leave but yeah well I don't think you're doing it intentionally to no go private no land from what I can see of no, no. Hey, but the fact fair, that sometimes it's very difficult to define what's public and yeah. private. if you see a zebra crossing and a public footpath yeah lights it's very difficult to define what's yeah. public and no, what's not i can clearly tell that this is all um toyota land but i just i, I stuck to my guns a bit because the, the road color changes it's got signs of the nursery the nursery are clearly paying for this area i had permission from the lady through the window uh, how long are you going to be only five minutes well that turned into so i had a little verbal contract over the parking agreement there so I, i've got permission in my eyes to be on this bit but now she asked me to leave come on yeah, yeah. You, like you <laughs> we'll wish you uh, we'll wish you all the best yeah nice yeah and yourself you. it's been yeah. very pleasant you've actually acted very professional so thank, thank you very you. much and it's always good to introduce yeah. ourselves and you as well i wish you a good the day. viewers all love you take care Hope <laughs> to right. see you again. thank you take bye. care so there you go the pcso and the constable talking very nicely because they know that if they don't then uh, it will come and bite them maybe but yeah very pleasant very pleasant indeed so that's it from Toyota I'm gonna to take the drone up and then that's it for this one the vehicle that they turned up in the tires are really good it's FJ 67 DXF So that's it from Toyota. This is where we took the drone up from. Don't want to be uh, taking the drone up after I've been told to leave on private land. You have to sort of um, take off from public land really or with permission. 
So yeah, you had some security guards there that just wanted to assert their authority. Well, the first guy anyway. The second one was a bit, you know, clever with words, trying to find out more. You'll know me as DJ, you'll find it eventually, mate. And then, yeah, the police arrived. Obviously, it was a bit awkward having parked on that nursery car park, but with me being on the nursery grounds, they really couldn't do anything about it. But when the nursery asked me to leave, then I'm just leaving. I'm not uh, going into that with a nursery. So yeah, I uh, hope you liked that one, guys. Uh, press that thumbs up for me if you did. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.